Okay, we just rolled the deer blind onto a little four by six trailer. It's actually perfect. Look at that. Fit right in there. And we're gonna try to pull it up with the buggy. We're just gonna we're just gonna throw a strap around it to hold it on there. And get this thing up there. Here's the blind. We made it. We are on top of a ridge top. And yesterday, here's the trail on one of the ridges that comes down. And we we bush hogged all this. We mowed this actually with mowers with the little zero turns. We were we were mowing saplings down and everything here. You can see some of the branches that we mowed. We mowed some big stuff. But we made a little clearing here. And we're trying to put the stand somewhere here. We haven't figured out exactly where to place it, but uh we're going to get started on this thing unloading and we're going to go back down and get the wood and get this thing up. Oh, we caught it. We did some uh, clearing here. I would roll it this way so it don't go down the mountain. All right, you two push it. Your way? Uh, yep, so it don't go down the hill. All right, now somebody come around. What? We're gonna catch it? Yeah. If it's slant, I don't want it to bust the window. Oh, that shit's hot. Woo! That thing got heavy quick. That shit is hot. No, hold on. Spin this end around your way. And we'll just let it lay like that so we can lay the put the legs in. Um, something in there? I don't like it. Hold on, Dan. Now watch out, it's a bear in there! <laughs> oh, the birdhouses. I never put the birdhouses up. Yeah. Owl boxes. Well, I guess we can uh, come in with us. Put the owl boxes up here. Put it down there. Put the mice around this stuff. They would love them. Nah, they're supposed to be down around the, the house to eat the mice. Barn? Uh, barn owl? Yeah. What are screech owl boxes, but uh, Okay, let's unload this crap. Uh, what's the towel for? I'm going to lay the towel across our board so my rope doesn't slide on the board. Oh, okay. It's like a buffer so you yeah, don't fray my rope. Bring the trailer back down. Yeah. So, who needs to go back down? Anybody? I'm gonna need a volunteer to help pick up four by four. We need to get the wood. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll all right, because we got the 16 footer to come up, four twelves, and then all the pieces for the ladder. Okay. 
Are you leaving okay. the trailer down there? Yeah we'll, down there? yeah, we'll disconnect it down there. It's easier to come up with it. Did you want to go or you want to stay? I'll come with you guys. All right. Sitting back. So, okay. We can all just take a trip back. All right, well, come yeah, on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, now start going toward me. Yeah. Hey, Dan, give me some weight on that side real quick. Hey, you're good. It's going to fall down. Take your time. Hurry bolt, up. Bolt washer. Pressure's on. Come on, what are you doing? Straight. <laughs> what are you no, doing? No matter what they're doing, straight. <laughs> well, this is pointless because how am I supposed, what are you doing? How am I supposed to get the pressure on it? I don't see what you're it's too deep. <laughs> how am I supposed to get pressure on the screw? We didn't think of that. I got a deep socket. You had it in your hand. Next yeah, plane. Clear, clear back over there. Next, next one. Come on. Hurry! Straight! <laughs> Old school style. You got a hammer? Yes, we do. Give it a tap. Oh, yeah, we got a hammer. Check. Got everything we need except the socket for all the power tools that we brought. This thermos, and that's all I need. This remote, this chair, this ashtray. Is there an app for this? <laughs> that's all I need. Yeah, I had I actually had the socket for it, but it wasn't in my bag. I must have took it out to use at home and never put it, and never put it back. Or some, you, or somebody, you would. You know what? That, somebody know, barred my tools. You know what you eventually know, happens with use that, that? Is I left it at home. I got the bottom. There. Should I put this on time lapse? <laughs> <laughs> So this is just a brace so that the legs don't uh, bend the frame when you're moving it around and trying to lift it. These screws aren't very long, but it's just, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it hopefully it grabs it just enough to bite in. Tight! How we like it? 40. And 40. Perfect. Wait, wait, what are you doing? You just ripped yeah. them out. Come on, come on, hurry up, Mike. Wait, it's gotta go oh, way up. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're man. The wrong I know. One, ding dong. I know. Oh shit, that's why. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck is this? <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah, it looks I know. good. Let's come on, man. Come Yo, on. I kicked it to the right spot though. I'm for real. When I kicked that. Yeah, that was funny. I saw I saw what you were doing. I'm like, yeah, come on, Mike, come on. <laughs> A lot of pressure on them screws. <laughs> it's like you're breaking the side. He's over here trying to match it all the way down here. <laughs> hey, it looks crooked for some reason. Well, who yeah, puts, you, who we've got to put 60 inches. That's 60 inches. <laughs> yeah, we got 400 inches on this side. Who put that wood there? Oh, I did. <laughs> Straight. Straight.
we'll get there. I said what I was saying. I don't know. You mean that's the point of that? It's going to get braced to the other leg. Yep. Yep. That's what I was saying, Dan. See how high it might be in the air? Keep going. Put, put your foot on that so it doesn't It's got to go back to you. Whoa. Lift higher. That's in. Bolt. Now that brace needs to it needs to come. I guess maybe screw to that somehow. We'll lash it. We can lash it to that. To the cross brace. Oh, I was thinking that was just a good idea just for trying to put it in. Honestly. Yeah, that was good thinking. I think I was going to be able to help him do that without this one. Yeah. Wow. That was an idea. That, that was so much that easier. Up being, it's only held in one. Else. It's only held in with one screw though, so don't stand <laughs> under it. Don't stand under it. Hey, yeah, let's look at this. Over. Bang. Bam! I think I would kill you. Uh, it would. It would hurt you. Good. This is good. This is going to be. This is going to be. Uh, uh, he's going to get a lot of. Uh, Hate safety dislikes. Safety tips. Yeah, this be Excuse me, sir. You're not doing this correctly. Say, where's your mask? Oh no! Here comes the dislikes. <laughs> here comes the dislikes. No mask. He's not. He's not uh, socially distancing. You're not in regulation two four five seven five. Article number three. Article Dan. Arsh OSHA is going to have its way with you. No, I actually have one of those ratchet step wrenches that was the right size. Well, but we brought the regular one. Okay. No, you brought the regular one. What we do. <laughs> I need to set it first. Put a magnetic holder on that. I have one in the garage. In my hair. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Don't let it fall on you. Down. Tilt, no, no, no. Tilt your end down. Down. In. It's in. See, I had to do that because you just pull it up. Now, the thing is, you got to find out where the length is uh, of the top right there. Push, push it up more. Good. Down. Good. Right there. 24 inches. So when we come out here, that needs to be 24, 24 inches, inches across. When we put the brace in. Yeah. Are you? What are you doing with the rest of this? Just let it hang. And somebody might, if they want to hold it, they can hold it so it don't. He told me earlier, yeah, put this on. Actually, don't do that. I was like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Pushing that one through that tree's root. <laughs>
Yeah, that's the hardest part. Is once it gets, once it gets all this off the ground except for the tips, it'll go. We got our four legs in, and this time we put a brace from the top leg to the bottom leg so that those front legs don't kind of like bounce and hang and bend. So they're braced to each other. We've got a cross brace across the bottom to keep it the right distance. The corners of the legs are lashed to these T-posts. Hopefully the T-posts are in far enough. Our rope is gonna go up over our pivot board to the buggy and the buggy should be able to tilt it right up. What were you trying to do here? No, that's in case it breaks loose, so don't decapitate the rope. You can watch it. I'll just smack you in the head. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Really? We're going. Really? Yeah, I gotta put the rope on. I gotta see this. Keep in the middle. I gotta see this. Stay behind me and watch your rope. Don't give me too much tension because I won't be able to lift it. Okay. Yeah, this is how we do ladder. I'm gonna tilt it sideways to get it in between them legs. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's tighten up on that rope. Give me some slack now. Yeah, you gotta tell me a little bit. I almost tripped. Let it go down. Let it go down. Tighten it up. You got it? I got the buggy. A lift staying back and film. Yeah, stay over there. Over there. Back by those bushes. Do not let anything fall on you. I think that board's going to have to tilt down lower. First try. Lift up. Yeah, this. Yeah. That's the most important. This right here, lashing the bottom legs is the most important so that those back legs don't lift or roll left or right. Well, it definitely bent this one. Yeah, it bent it. That's all right. I'll okay. take that over. Falling over this way or falling over. Failure. Yeah, all that tension on it, I was like, here yeah, we go. Yeah, good thing you just didn't let it go. I was spinning wheels on a stump or something. I know. As soon as you were spinning wheels, I was. It like, was done. I had no. I couldn't go nowhere. I, I had mean, a four-wheel drive and locker. You were like with one more person because we were pulling it. And I was like, yeah. I was I, like, I don't know if one more person is going to be able to tip this. It. So it got it over. It did. Woo. Okay. okay. Hi, dude. So 24 inches. Well, I can't wait to go up there. Oh, three-inch oh. overhang on these. Well, just centered, I guess. It's fine. I made it three inches almost on each side. All right, we got it up there. Jim got the level and he put the level on the door frame and the window frame. 
to make sure it's level in both directions. And now he's working his way down with the steps and making them level all the way down. You just had to put the steps on just temporarily so you can get up inside it to get the level in it. And once you know that your actual stand is level, then on your way down, you can level your stairs. Unless, of course, you had a, a, an extra ladder while you were out here. So once he's done the steps, it's level. Our cross braces that we temporarily put on to get it lifted up without bowing and twisting, we're going to put those on high enough to where you can mow your trail. Just drive right underneath it, mow down back and forth on your trail. So we'll get the bracing, the cross bracing on, steps leveled. This long one on the ground is going to go across the very bottom of the ladder, 12 foot, 6 foot on each side, so it doesn't rock this way from the wind. The front two legs, I'm going to start pounding the T-post into it. That's why we brought the T-post right there into the ground, and I'm going to lash the legs to the T-post, and hopefully the, uh, the wind on top of this ridge won't blow this thing over. But we'll see. All right, here's the view from inside the blind. This is the right side. You can see all the way down the trail down there. Uh, I'm going to say about 80 yards or so. Out to the front. This is where we bush hog this little area, but we've, we've got some more to, to cut out here. Probably clear all this out here. Make a good 30 yard square out here. But you can see all the way out into the valley. It's crazy. Look at that view. And then to the left, you can almost see all the way up the trail 100 yards if we cut this sides of these trees away right here. You'll be able to see all the way up this trail also. Okay, here's the finished product. It is up. Got the feeder out here. Just to just this if a bear ever shows up, they pull these right down. So I you know this 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 is probably gonna disappear soon. We got the trail camera out there. It's level. It is up there. In the little opening right here we made we mowed, which needs a lot of work. We're gonna tilt us up, fertilize some clover in here or something, but uh the view is really good and it'll be great in the winter time um, right now everything's so green now the one issue we do still have is anchoring this to the ground this is we are on a bed of rock right here right? we cannot get into the ground so this brace here is screwed in it's 12 feet long to keep from teeter tottering the T-posts are barely in the ground to keep it from lifting up out of there. We've got to do something about that. And this this board is just screwed as a temporary leg brace that's screwed in to, to, to keep it from doing this, maybe. But uh, that, that thing is so big. And the wind comes up this valley. It's going to flip this thing right over unless we can figure out a way to anchor this thing to the ground. The easiest thing to do might be to buy one of those giant cement blocks with the big uh, rebar hook on it and just connect it to the eye hook that's built into it right there to a big cement uh thing and that'll hold it with a cable because we just cannot get anything into the ground here there's we're on rock shale or a piece of bedrock or something at this location so that's it we're going to see both ways on the trail. This is the hill coming up to the... We're on a ridge right here. And the trail goes down this way. If you look way down there. Look how far. Way down there. We just got to mow. Actually, where Jim's at. If we mowed... Uh, not mowed, but if we trim these trees, you'll be able to see straight up this trail and down. and It's, it's pretty good.